welcome to a new episode of Salty Sky. Today we'll be talking about the price of fursuits and art, so let's jump on in. Ah, uh, hey, Sky, can I talk? N no? Great. Wait, no, Potato. Right. All right, matey potatoes, this is my show now. So prepare your asses because I'm about to hand you yours. So, like my small dog friend said, this episode's going to be about the prices of fursuits and fairy art. So, I guess you're going to be expecting me to start whinging and complaining about how expensive art and fursuits are, right? Wrong! I'm going to sit here and tell you why you have no right to complain about artists or fursuit makers or anyone's prices for that matter. Now, I know there's a lot of youngins in my audience and this may be a bit hard for you younger furs to understand without understanding exactly what it's like to pay for rent, bills and food, but I want you guys to bear with me, all right? First of all, I'd like to make a very important point. Furry prices are dirt cheap compared to professional illustrators. The standard price for a professional illustrator is generally between 100 to 400 US dollars a page but can go up to the several thousands of dollars for high detail and more well-known professional illustrators. So I see some of you complaining about a $20 full body piece where the artist should be able to charge even three times as much. And I mean, have you seen some of the artists in the fandom? They are so stupidly talented. They should be charging tenfold what they are. Second of all, some people make a living off the fandom and I can tell you right now, and I can tell you right now, they wouldn't be doing that if they charged $20 a full body. Now, this largely depends on how fast an artist can work, but let's say it takes them four hours to do a full body flat color. And the minimum wage here in Australia, at least, is $18.29. So let's multiply that by the four hours it takes to do the full body, equals around mm, $73 y dues and 16 cents, which is about 54 US dollars. Now it's starting to look like a lot like those higher priced artists, isn't it? Well, we like to eat too, and we gotta charge at least minimum wage to achieve that. This is also why fursuits are priced the way they are. A full suit can take old mate Sky 100 hours and over to complete. So she should be charging a fuck ton more than she does. However, this now leads me on to the next section of my little rant here. Whilst artists should pay themselves minimum wage for any art, Please have respect for those who choose to not. Some people are what we call hobbyists in the fandom, so they do it for fun and will often have study or some other job to go to, and thus art will take longer. So you need to have some damn patience for these people because their actual job will be paying them more than you are, and it'll take up a lot of their time. So don't be surprised that what you trade off in terms of money saved will result in a longer time for commissions to be completed. Wait times and artist etiquette is an entirely different can of worms, so I'll cover that in a different episode. And please, for the love of all that is good and holy, do not lowball a maker or artist ever. If they advertise a full detail piece for say 120 US dollars and you can't afford it, save up until you do. Or take your business somewhere else as nothing says fuck you like asking for a lower price. This is especially important when it comes to fursuits. Sky had someone ask him to make a fursuit for $100. $100, are you joking? Can't even buy the fur for that cost. So she'd be paying out of pocket for this person's fursuit. Fur costs $150 to $200 for a head alone. And you're offering even below that. Now, now. Before I see comments going, well, some people don't have much money, or I don't have a job, or I can't afford that. Yeah, I know. Fursuits and art are what's known as luxury items. <laughs> and luxury goods can be defined as products that are not essential, but are highly desired and associated with wealthy or affluent people. They are bought for several reasons, to support self-worth and status, or for the product's quality and craftsmanship. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Not essential, not essential. So no, as much as kids in YouTube comment sections would have you believe, you do not need a fursuit. A fursuit is not a human right, like water, food, shelter, but instead 
a privilege, a luxury item. So save up for it like everyone else, instead of asking makers to pay out of pocket for your fursuit. Basically, the long and the short of it is, don't complain about artists' prices because quite simply, you are not the artist. If you don't like their prices or can't afford their prices, don't commission them. Simple as that, guys. If you think an artist should be paid a little bit more, throw them a little bit more than what they're asking when you're paying. Now, I swear to God, if I get one more bloody person who thinks they're entitled to a free fursuit, I'm gonna flip me bloody lid. You're effectively asking someone who you've never met, mind you, to give you a $3,000 gift, even to the point of arguing when a maker says no. It's like walking into a shopping center and going, this is free, I, I, I'm taking this. Um, miss, you can't take that. Yes, I can, you're just being greedy. I'm, I'm sorry, miss, but you're gonna have to pay for that. I can't let you leave. I never get anything I want, so you're gonna give this to me for free. Miss, I'm gonna ask you to put the TV down or I'm calling the police. Ugh, fine, I will leave then, never come back. I hope you're happy. Jeez, fucking drama birds. Now, you wouldn't do that in a local shop, so don't do it online. It is exactly the same with art. People use art to pay for their food, rent, and bills. So asking for the art for free and whinging and moaning about it is simply selfish. I understand that you youngins don't have much money, but please be patient, get a job of your own so you can pay for art like everybody else does. In the meantime, why not get some free line art to color, either digitally or you can print it out and color it traditionally. Just be sure to credit your base artist when you upload it anywhere. Just a little uh, salty side note here, but what the actual fuck is going on with this whole kids stealing their parents' credit card to buy a fursuit thing? It is so messed up. Not only are you putting your parents through financial stress, but you leave the seller or fursuit maker out of pocket for thousands of dollars. As once we have that money, we use it for materials, food, rent. And when that transaction is charged back by your parents' bank, it is forced out of the maker's account, often leaving them in account debt. Also, a very, very, very important notice to any and all kids who are considering trying this. It doesn't matter that it's your parents' credit card. Stealing it and using it to buy something without their permission is theft and it is considered a crime. This is actually considered credit card fraud. And depending on where you live, jail time can be a legal penalty for this kind of theft. So don't be stupid and don't steal from your parents. My God. Rightio, rant over. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pissed Off Pasito and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later, mate. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed Pasito's first little outing there. The fan art feature of the week is from Furry Art Asylum, who did me this badge of Sky for Ferdu a while back. Go check out their stuff, they do amazing things, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye now.